Hey guys, this is Eric and I'm back once again with some tech wizardry on the Circuit Magic channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can run a bipolar stepper motor with an Arduino using a motor driver IC. To make this prototype, I'm going to use no marks for guessing, an Arduino, a bipolar stepper motor, few jumper wires, a breadboard, breadboard jumpers, and obviously the motor driver IC L293D. So before you begin, just make sure that you have everything as per the list and the specs ready. You can also check out a detailed walkthrough of the project on circuitmagic.com. I'll leave a link below to that in the description. So let's start the prototyping. First of all, attach the IC to the breadboard and connect the pins according to the pin info on your right. Not to forget, it is also available along with the circuit diagram on our blog. Now let's connect the stepper motor wires. Often this is the most confusing part for a lot of beginners. So let me just simplify it a little. The stepper motor has 4 wires and 2 coils, coil A and coil B. You can check the wires first for continuity using a multimeter. Now according to the diagram, simply connect the wires of coil A to pins 3 and 6 and the wires of coil B to pins 11 and 14. Let me show you how you can do it. Here I am connecting the wires to pin 6. Now pin 3, now pin 11 and finally to pin 14. Now connect the input pin of the IC to the Arduino's digital pins number 9, 10, 11 and 12. Now run the jumper wires from Arduino's 5 volt and ground pin to the negative and positive rail of the breadboard. Finally put the external 5 volt power to the second ground and positive rail of the breadboard. Also the positive rail for the external power is connected to the pin number 8 of the driver IC. So looks like the wiring is complete. Now it's time to upload the program into the Arduino. Simply plug its USB cable into your laptop or computer and launch the Arduino IED software. You can find the code I have used here on the project page. Now under the tool menu, go to the serial port and select the COM port. And yes, don't forget to select the Arduino board from this list. Now upload the program by clicking the upload button. Now open the serial monitor window. From here you can select any number of steps to run the stepper motor. So ok, now I am sending 60 steps. Let's see what the motor does. See? It turns 60 steps in the clockwise direction. For anti-clockwise, all you have to do is give it a negative value. So let's change the speed parameter and upload the program again. Now let's send some number of steps to the motor again. See, it's running fast. That's it folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on some more tech wizardry from the Circuit Magic channel. Adios till then, bye.